All right, little Honda bros. I think this is the last, uh, last thing. And we're gonna do this in a very non little Honda bro fashion, just like the rest of this Honda, is that we're gonna hardwire a radar detector instead of having some weirdo crap hanging all over the place. And uh, it should, you know, where's some wood? It should be pretty easy, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if it takes me four hours or not. But before I get started, let me, uh, let me uh, give you a message from the sponsor of this video, which is me, as usual, um, Garage Giveaway. So if you are a little Honda bro and you happen to have a garage, uh, then um, we're doing another ultimate garage giveaway, uh, which I think is crazy because I hate doing every second of it, but then the magic of the end result is what I'm addicted to, just like detailing a car. Uh, I hate doing the polishing for 10 hours. I like doing the hood, but that's about it. Uh, but then the result at the end is worth all the pain. So go to obsessedgarage.com, Go to the page, you can't miss it, it's everywhere, all over the site. Bryce did a great job setting up the site so that you understand what you need to do to enter. Um, but buy some crap. Uh, this will run from February, or sorry, uh, the Civic giveaway is February 15th. This will run from today, you know, or December 15th, through the end of January, and I'm gonna pick somebody and change their gosh darn life. I wish I got all this stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm not really into raffles, but um, this giveaway thing is, is pretty legit. And then somebody's going to get hooked up, and then the benefit to all of us, you get to buy some cool stuff that you probably wanted anyway, and then um, um, we get to do it again. And then we get all the content. You guys get to see another garage change, and we get all a bunch of ideas. I think we're probably going to end up doing some Cree lighting in this garage. It's going to be sick. Uh, we'll be doing Noose Bomb and all the new latest stuff. So, uh, anyway, go uh, check that out and get signed up. But on today's video, the plan is to do the radar detector. I'm doing a, a unit NR7, which I've done in all my cars. And I've got a blend mount hardware kit, which is pretty generic. Should work pretty much anything. I got, get it out of the car here. I got a add a fuse. God dang it, I hate when this thing does that. Who ever decided that any car should have it where one door unlocks is the dumbest thing ever? Hit the unlock, all doors should always unlock. Got some shop towels. I need to get a shop towel sponsorship. Anyway, I've got to uh, add a fuse and I think I need the small one. which is this little guy. So you just go to Advanced Auto or AutoZone or something like that and you get one of these. Makes it easier than trying to hardwire into something. We're gonna have to find somewhere to ground this. Um, but what we'll do is we'll put this in the fuse out of the fuse box, which is out right up underneath the, the dash there. So we ought to be able to run down the headliner, through the A-pillar, down the side, and then right into the fuse box and then grab a uh, one of the fuses and um, we'll put it on a switch to outlet so it turns the radar detector on when you turn the switch. Now one of the disadvantages that blend mount doesn't make a mount for this little tiny mirror uh, and so we're going to end up using, for the first time ever for me, I'm going to end up using this, I think this is how it goes, I'm going to end up using the mount that comes with the unit end. So we'll be doing this suction cup thingy for the, for the unit end, and we'll figure out where, where it makes the most sense to, to install it. And then uh, while we're at it, since we're in the interior down there, let's put in this uh, dead pedal. Crap, what is the name of this thing? We'll put it in the description. I can't remember what brand this is. I got this from Matt at ICB, ICB Motorsports, uh, and this should just be a direct replacement for the rubber um, uh, dead pedal, and it'll kind of match and make, make nice look nice with the Mugen pedals that are in there. So let's get moving. All right, let's see where this thing fits best before I start running wires. So it's a little too tall to fit above the mirror. I don't really want it in my field of view. And we could just put it in our normal spot. I've never used this mount before. could just put it right here. The only problem is I would have to zip tie the wire up. I don't love any of these spots. 
I think it will be okay. I think I could still make the wire look pretty good. I'll just kind of, let's just see. Let's see what we can do here. Sorry, we're pumping soap here at the same time. So, if this is here, and I want to see as little wiring as possible, but I also don't know that I want to see any zip ties hanging from my mirror. bag in here that I have to worry about. Let's bring this through here like this. The headliner. Get my fingerprints all over the car. Ah! It's scaring me. Dang it. Let's see what this looks like. Something like that. And this is going to plug in like this. I don't love that. Hmm. What do you guys think? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty clean. It's about as clean as we're gonna get it. I think what I'm gonna do is just put one small zip tie and push it all the way up to the top. Mm. This mount is just too big. Like if it was tighter like a V1, you could mount right up here. I just need to make a better transition into the headliner. So I wonder if I come up here, I go into this piece, into the mirror cover. Let me get a try tool. All you little Honda bros probably haven't seen this, but this is called a skin wedge. It's designed to pull skin off of a aircraft. It's basically like a metal thumbnail. Uh, and so I have these in the store. You want this thing. It's freaking awesome. So the guys that did the stereo, Derek, the guy suggested this to me. The thing I'm afraid of is I don't know how this thing comes off. There we go. Shoot. Oh, there's no where to run into there. Crap. I just wasted my time. I think it's worth it to take. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this mirror here. So let's take it off and see what's doing. Because what I'd like to do is run up into the mirror, then go up into the headliner that way and come across. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to fit. I guess I can cut all these. I could cut this off and rewire it. I just want to make it as clean as possible. <clears throat> Without messing anything up. You gotta love how clever, although very cheap, let's, let's call it inexpensive, how clever Hondas are. put together, they're just put together so nicely. Okay, this should work.
Should have sent the radar detector up there to Derek to wire up for me. I think that'll be pretty good. Let's see. That looks pretty good, don't you think? Yeah, that looks better. there put a little piece of a uh, sticky on there to keep that mounted nicely every man needs a pair of ARS scissors look up these suckers on uh, on Amazon ARS 526H I'll have these for the rest of my life it's gonna take a little piece of 3m body molding tape Holds the microphone in place. Right there, boom. Okay, now I need to run this down and get it into the car. I guess into the side of the car here. So let me take this, take this little plastic screw off. This should pop off now. Yeah. Okay. It's been a lot of years since I've gotten into the interior of my Civic like this. I'm gonna ground it right here. Perfect. And it's not like we need some critical ground for this super low voltage thing. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna do this the right way. Bring it up like that. That will be a bit nicer looking. Okay, now let's put our add a fuse on here. So, we'll chop this end off, strip it back, and then Let's put a little five, three or three or two or three or five or whatever I got amp. Let's just, uh, let's see if we can find, there's a bunch of open circuits under here. So let's see if we can just utilize one of those. And the way you know how to do this, for those of you who have never done this before, you could look up where to put it. So this little diagram here gives me a bunch of, bunch of areas that I could use. But I think there's a bunch of uh, empties that we might be able to utilize. Why don't I move the car up since I'm on the darn left instead of hanging upside down. Generally what I do is just start putting it in some spots to see what works. What we don't want we don't want the radar detector turning on when the car ignition is not on. So right now the radar detector is not on. Let's see if this spare spot works. Let's put the key in. I think we found it. First try. Now it should turn off. Boom. First try. Nice. So I picked for those Honda bros that aren't very good at um, thinking, I put it next to, there's a security port, a little three amp security port, which is right here. So there's a 15, 20, 20, and I put it right here, which was empty. Perfect. And what I'll do, tuck the wire up in here nice and cleanly. Oh, it makes a really solid connection in here too. That's a plus. Let's hope we don't end up with a Honda not go back together. I need to figure out my eight pillar that I pulled apart here.
There we go. Just took a little, little attitude adjusting. Okay, let's do our dead pedal and we're done. Dead pedal should be two 10 millimeters. Look at that. That's pretty. I think I might be able to just put it in without taking it apart. This is a mainly a show you the after because I don't know if you're going to be able to see in here, but I can't figure this one out. And I'm going to keep my mouth shut when this doesn't work out like I planned. We have these guys, these, uh, these aren't detailing grade lights, but they're great work lights. So we have these as part of the, uh, the garage giveaway. You can buy uh, uh, the pair of these. I, I find I use these things like daily. Yeah, I just need a shorter extension. Other than alignment, this is my last, last little thing I gotta do, I think. Look how OE these darn kick panels look. So, let's make sure these holes line up. They do. So look at that. I guess the pedal needs to go this way. So this is an adjustable pedal for the little people of the world. I'm gonna keep it flat. But if you were short, shorter than me, you could adjust this. Crap, the name of this is eluding me. It's like El Capitan or something. I forget what the name of this thing is. Let's get this started. There we go. Now it's a little bit better. Boom. All right, so that's a wrap. Uh, I think it's a wrap for the interior. I'll be probably be doing some more uh, the final update uh, on the car when it's all completely done. I'm going to go to vortexradar.com and get all the recommended uh, settings for the unit NR7. Uh, he's like the authority on this. He's like beyond the beyond obsessed garage of radar detectors. Uh, but the uh, little dead pedal looks great. Finishes it off. I'm pumped. I'm going to clean the windshield here and get my fingerprints all over it. And I'm gonna set up the radar detector, and now we're uh, now we're safe to go cruise around in this thing. And, and it's just I don't know, I don't really aggressively speed around all over the place, but you know when you're you know on a backcountry road in a 35 mile per hour zone, it should be 70. You know you just don't want to get pulled for doubling the speed limit. So anyway, thanks for watching, little Honda Bros. Uh, that's a, how you put a radar detector in and make it not look janky. So. I'd highly suggest you consider it. It's super easy. Um, other than putting the panels back on, that's the hardest part. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this series. Civic giveaway starts February 15th, and the uh, garage giveaway is going on right now. So go sign up and uh, keep us uh, employed. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.